A tech reviewer from China by the name of Extreme Player has managed to get his hands on a qualification sample of Intel 13th Gen i9-13900K processor and tested it versus i9-12900K in a number of games, including PUBG, Red Dead Redemption 2, Forza Horizon 5 and more, as well as some productivity apps. In terms of performance, qualification sample CPUs are very close to the retail version that you will be able to buy in a few months. The latest rumors suggest that Intel is getting ready to reveal the 13th generation of processors in September with a retail launch in October. In this video, I will compare i9-13900K versus 12900K gaming performance in 1080p 1440p and 4K, as well as in some productivity benchmarks using the data shared by Extreme Player. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Now back to the video. Let's start with a quick recap of i9-13900K specifications. It is a 24-core, 32-thread CPU with 8 performance P-cores and 16 efficiency E-cores. For comparison, 12900K has 16 cores and 24 threads consisting of 8 P cores and 8 E cores. Also, 13900K has more cache, that is 68 megabytes versus just 44 megabytes on 12900K. 13900K has a big multi-threading advantage in applications that are optimized to utilize so many cores effectively. For example, in Adobe Premiere Pro there is a 21% improvement, and 7-zip decompression is 52% faster, while in Photoshop there is only a 13% difference. It is good to see double-digit improvements in most apps. Let's move on to gaming benchmarks. At 1080p resolution, in a 6-game average, 13900K is just 4% better than 12900K in average FPS. However, what is interesting is that the minimum FPS improved by 21%. Looks like it is a benefit of having larger cache. The performance gap is a bit wider at 9% on average at 1440p resolution. And the difference at 4K resolution is also just 4%. These benchmarks were done using an RTX 3090 Ti. It will be interesting to see if the performance gap at 4K will become wider with the arrival of RTX 4090 later this year. Now let's see how i9-13900K performs in various games at 1080p. The average FPS in most games is not that different compared to 12900K, with the exception of a few games. 13900K leads by 17 FPS in PUBG and by 16 FPS in Monster Hunter Rise. However, the minimum FPS difference in some games is significant. A measly 41 FPS versus smooth 73 FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2 and 131 FPS versus 178 FPS in PUBG. Other games show a more modest minimum FPS improvement. Looking at this data, I think that if you have a 12900K, then it is not worth thinking about a CPU upgrade this year. Although this may change when the next-gen graphics cards arrive later this year. After all, some of them are rumored to double the performance over the current generation NVIDIA RTX 3000 and AMD RX 6000 series. So, we may see some benefits of having a faster CPU then. By the way, you can learn more about the upcoming GPUs in my other videos if you are interested. It was I, Vadim, until next time.